Hi, it's Gary DeBach of Puyallup, Washington, USA, and I'm going to be giving a brief video demonstration of the new 3-inch Baby FSL model. This is uh, absolutely the smallest, most compact, and lightweight model that has ever been designed to be airport friendly. And let me just briefly give you a general rundown of the construction here. It uses 24 of the Russian surplus 100 and 20 millimeter by 8 millimeter ferrite rods and um, the overall diameter of this model is only about three inches uh, it's made to be extremely lightweight to carry like in an airport uh, friendly uh, travel size and although this is a very compact model and designed to be uh, just barely larger than an ultralight radio, it does have a few uh, secret advantages going for it. It uses the most sensitive 1162-46 lits wire. And um, one of the latest advantages is this new uh, 384P variable capacitor, which has dramatically improved the performance of all of the FSL models uh, tested here both small and large. So I'm going to be giving a uh, brief demonstration here. Right now it's a summer day and uh, daytime DX fringe station reception is not all that great, but I'm going to first of all move the ultralight radio away and see what the signal would be on 1070 CFAX, which is in Victoria, BC, about 99 miles to the northwest. So I'm receiving CFAX as usual talk program. Uh, you just gave an ID there, but you probably didn't hear it. Uh, I would guess the signal here is about S2, S3. So we'll see what the baby FSL can do for it. First of all, I take the ultralight radio, I move it into the inductive coupling. Well, I moved it into the inductive coupling range of the baby FSL and I'm overloading the ultralight radio. Uh, before I melt down the front end, let me turn down the volume. Thank you, Mark. There are two big overlapping power outages on the west shore and cutting off power to over 5,200 CC hydro customers. A crew is on route to the first edge, though they are not on the scene yet, and there's no ETA for when it will be restored. Or and it's also not known what caused the outage in the first place. That one's affecting 2,800 customers. So, so BC Hydro has powder outages in Victoria. And I sure hope they get that taken care of quickly. But uh, just to show the effectiveness of this baby FSL, I'm going to take it out of the inductive coupling range once more. Uh, you can see I'm pretty much uh, back down to the uh, noise level here, uh, so I'm not going to be able to hear much about the BC power situation unless I bring it back into the FSL range. So I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration here. Uh, this baby FSL will be featured prominently during a lecture at the IRCA convention coming up in September. So hope to see you there. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.